Good afternoon. This uh, this video, I want to give an example of another case of where the Jew was told to command to call upon the name of the Lord. And the salvation there is, it was that uh, he received was not eternal salvation, but a physical salvation. Uh, he, uh, Luke 18.35, <clears throat> and it came to pass as he was coming nigh into Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the way, wayside begging. <clears throat> and then uh, verse 38, and he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. He's calling out upon the name of the Lord. And uh, verse uh, 40, the Lord says, uh, Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What, uh, what wilt thou that I, do, I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Verse 42, and Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight. Thy faith hath saved thee. Okay. Now, this is the same man of it. So what, what was he being saved from? Blindness. Blindness. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people whom they, uh, they saw it, gave praise unto God. So there's a case salvation is dealing with, not, the, not with eternal salvation, but physical salvation. A physical making whole, you have a, uh, the connotation of being made, made whole physically. I can compare that to Luke 17, 19 with the, the man with the leprosy. Uh, let's look at that. Uh, 17, uh, uh, one, uh, says here, uh, verse 13, he lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, go show this, show this stuff unto the priest. And it came to pass as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And fell down on his face at his at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, We're not there ten clean cleansed, but where but where are the nine? They are not uh, they are not found that return to give glory to God, save the stranger. And he said unto him, Rise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. So um again that's the there's a physical connotation there. And that's what Romans 10 13 is talking about. There's a physical connotation of deliverance from the wrath that was about to come on Israel. And they, they were, Paul was telling them to call upon the name of the Lord. Get out of Judaism. Get out of, make that confession. Get out of Judaism. Uh, uh, Romans 10 9 10. The confession would separate them, just like the water baptism separated the Jew uh, from Judaism, the corrupt Judaism, uh, the corrupt Judaism <coughs> uh, that. Uh, was going on in uh, Acts chapter two, where Peter, you know, they said, "What must we do after killing the Messiah?" So again, this is pointing out that the word salvation has different different meanings and different kind con of different contexts. And everybody wants to run Romans ten thirteen like it's a plan of salvation. It's nothing to do with eternal salvation. That's in Romans ten fourteen. How can they call upon him on upon him on whom they have not believed? Faith comes first, and then the calling is for uh, not for salvation, eternal salvation. He already saved. It's for a physical deliverance. For the Jew in the first century, it was deliverance from the Holocaust that was about to come upon them. Uh, the destruction of, uh, of the temple, Israel, uh, Jerusalem. And uh, in today, uh, in today, in our, our, our uh, it's a church age, we would say that that's, that's prayer. But it's a prayer for any problems you're in, dealing with a physical element, elements that the Lord will make you whole. And uh, I'll help you in those situations. So I'll stop with this up. And uh, again, the idea is uh, looking at Romans 10 14, it's not the same as Romans 10 13. They're not synonymous. They're not synonymous, not the same. See, people are trying to get around and say, well, they're the same. They're just mean, that make them redundant. You wouldn't need Romans 10 13 then. Romans 10, 10 13 is specifically called prayer calling out to the Lord. And that salvation there is not eternal salvation. It is a physical salvation dealing with some type of crisis that's going in your life, on, on in your life. Amen. Thank you.